your parents had a whole bunch of trapdoors, this class would be empty. Because most of you are already stuck in different, different trapdoors. It's not that the real world doesn't have trapdoors. Real world does. But good parents remove them from their homes. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's very hard to talk to the social services people saying, you know, what do I know? I just put this little gun in my you know, living room. How do I know that a two-year-old doesn't you know, would take the gun and shoot himself? Or shoot uh, his kid? Okay? Uh, his kid's sister. Or that there was like a huge big danger in the middle. I just left it alone and I didn't know that he'll do this. We don't consider those arguments because we essentially remove traps from the home. So we leave a kid in a room only when we know for sure that the kid can get from any place, any safe place to any safe place, and will never get to any unsafe place. So you set up a irreducible Markov chain for the kid before you leave. If you left it sink state and then left, and then later on you'll have a hard time convincing you know, social security people, social services people, even if those people don't know anything about Markov chains, that you are a pretty good parent to begin with. Okay? So what we are doing is, in that, case, in that case, what did we do? We took an existing environment, which is big bad world, containing you know guns and germs and steel and everything in the home, and you stabilized a little bit of it, so that kids won't get into major trouble. You could do this for this graph too. This graph, to begin with, has bad situations. It has sync nodes. It could have periodicity. You could stabilize this graph, okay, so that these properties are satisfied. And once you do that, then the, the new graph you get would be guaranteed to have steady state distribution. And I understand that that's not the graph on which you wanted to compute importance measure, but would anybody really know the difference? You know, think about this. It's again, if I were to make a new ranking of the you know, uh, the best looking people or something, okay? It's not very obvious what are the actual ways to do this thing. What's important, as I said, is there should be a unique, you know, distribution that you come up if I keep asking you a couple of times, okay? And that will happen only if you have steady state distribution. And you can get steady state distribution by ensuring that the underlying Markov chain is not periodic, that means it's a periodic. And that it is not, it, that it's also irreducible. That means it's ergodic. That means every, you can reach any node from any node. It turns out that you can do both of them essentially by just doing one sim two simple ideas. One is, first look at the matrix, and these are sufficient conditions. Okay, there are many, many ways of making a house safe. It doesn't matter which way you made your house safe. All that matters is you made your house safe before you left your kid in the room. Okay, so I will tell you how to make an arbitrary graph safe in one way. Okay, and that's just a sufficient condition. That's sufficient enough for the graph to have a um, stable, uh, uh, steady state distribution. One is you want to get rid of sync nodes first. Okay, because sync nodes is a one-sized periodic cycle. You see what I'm saying? You get there, you just keep going in that. You'll never come out. That's what a sync node really is. Okay? So you want to get rid of sync nodes. That means if you have a matrix M where an entire column is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, you want to get rid of that. So what I'll do is I'll do a reasonable thing. I'll say if you have nothing to do, I will just assume that with 1 over N probability, you go to any one of the N pages in the whole M, four, four large units. By doing this, I no longer have all zero column. Okay? So, uh, that's one thing I will do. So, in fact, I will write this here. So, I have this C matrix corresponding to this M matrix, where the C matrix has zero columns if M matrix has non-zero columns. And whenever M matrix has a zero column, C matrix has one over N columns. All elements are one over N. Okay? And if I do that, then I no longer have sync nodes, but then I still do not have irreducibility. That means ergodicity. That means you can always reach any node from any node. You see what I'm saying? 
Um, so because that could be because you could have disconnected components of the graph. And so you will be in this component or this component, but you'll never be able to cross those components. Now if you have disconnected components, once again you can't have steady state distribution that is unique. Because it depends on which component you're going to. Okay? Um, think about the following thing. How many of you know 15 puzzle? The one where the sliding tile puzzle that you may have played with. Okay. I can do the following thing. When you're looking that side, I'll remove two tiles, swap their positions physically, and put it back in the puzzle. Then I'll ask you to solve the puzzle. I can guarantee you there is no solution. And you have no clue that there is no solution. Because what happens is the 15 puzzle search space is two disconnected components. And you are always in one component. And when I changed, when I did the swapping, I got you from this component to that component. And you no longer can go from that to this by just shifting the space up. Okay? So in general, disconnected components are bad news. So what do I do to avoid disconnected components? What I would say is, with probability B or with probability C, I would the sum, I would basically follow what the page is asking me to do. And with probability 1 minus C, I'll just, with respect of where I am, I'll just go to any other page with 1 over n probability. So in essence, what I'm saying is, one way to make sure that the world is connected is to make very weak links between every node to every other node. That weak means the probability that you would take that link is very close to zero, but not zero. For every pair of nodes in the world, in this web now, you assume that you can go from this node to this node with non-zero, but very close to zero probability. Now, of course, if you do this for an entire web all the time, that means whenever you go to a page, then you look at that page and just randomly transport yourself to a completely different page, then you are not capturing the structure of the web. So what you need to do is most of the time do what the web is asking you to do, which is follow the link structure. But how many of you just always, like robots, kept following the links? You know, I'm going because it said there is a link, I must click on it. After a while, you know, you want to have food, you might want to see some other page, and so you just transport yourself. So with some probability C, you do what the page says. With some probability 1 minus C, you just do a random thing. When you do the random thing, you essentially just transport yourself to any other page in this world. One way of doing it is to transport yourself into any other page in this world with uniform probability. Okay, so if there are 1,000 pages in the world, and if Point 0.9 probability you follow what the page is saying, and point 0.1 probability you don't follow it, then there is always a weak link between you and any other page which is of strength 0.1 times 1 over 1000. Okay? If I do those two, and I'll get back to this next class, my m star would be m plus, first I do m star becomes m plus z, and then I do m star is c times m plus z plus 1 minus c times k, where k is this reset distribution. This is how, when I'm sick and tired of what I'm doing, I just transport myself somewhere. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. If I were to do this, this matrix m star, as long as c is close to 1, right? this matrix m star is going to be close to m. It sort of respects the structure of the vector but it ensures that it's stable. So for example, one way you can make your home stable for your kid is to raise the home and build a playpen and nothing else. But that way you won't have a home. So what you do is you keep your home and you make it a little more stable. That's what we're doing. We're keeping the matrix as much as possible and making it a little more stable by essentially ensuring that it's aperiodic and it is. If I were to do this, I will uh, show you this picture. Uh, you can go back and look at it. We'll come back next class. But this picture, this is the M. Okay? And if I were to do C to the point 0.8, and Z is only used if there is all zero column. There is no all zero column. So Z is 0, 0, 0 to begin with. Um, so then I will get point 0.8 times M plus Z plus point 0.2 times K, where I just assume for now that K is uniform reset matrix. That means from every page, you go to every other page with 1 over n probability. 
If I were to do that, then I will get this matrix. Notice that whether or not the original matrix, this one, is stable or not, this is guaranteed to be stable. This is guaranteed to have a steady state distribution. That's what you do. So you stabilize your matrix, just like you stabilize your homes for your kids, you stabilize your web-linked matrix such that it will have a steady state uh, problem distribution. And when you stabilize it, your, work, your home is not the same as what you wanted. You know, before the kid, the home used to have all sorts of things lying around. After the kid, you remove some of them. You put all those, you know, plasticky things in plug points. You know, it's painful. You have to remove this to put a plug in. But it's better than leaving those the way that is and the kid puts his hand into the plug. Okay. So you did some change to your house, some change to the topology of the graph, such that the new graph is close enough to the old graph, but it has the very important theoretical property that it will have steady state distribution. And that steady state distribution will be just called page rank. That's it. So the probability, the steady state probability that you will find yourself in D, that's your page rank. So we discussed page rank and authority's halves, we'll discuss more of it next time.